Oh, I'm going to teach you something about spreadsheets, and we're going to do this assignment, calculate your grade. So we want to be able to calculate our grade. And uh, to do that, we're going to go into Google Drive. And so I have a link to it right there, but you could have also gone right over here to the Google area and then chosen Drive. Oh. That little deal, oh, Drive. And then uh, once you're in Google Drive, you're just going to create a new sheet. You have Google Docs and you have Sheets. This is word processing. This is uh, number processing. This is for working with words. Let me create a document with a bunch of words on it. This is for working with numbers. Let me create a document that works with a bunch of numbers. I'm going to create a new Google Sheet. I'm going to call it My Grade Booyah. What's Booyah mean? Booyah. You used to express joy. It's one H. There we go. I like booyah. And uh, now I have to get all the different things that I'm graded on. Remember, half your grade comes from my IT lab. Half of your grade comes from Blackboard. So I'm going to calculate everything first from Blackboard. And so I'm going to show this for CIT 15. But the concept is the same uh, for... Uh, any class, right? So you go to the syllabus. Okay. I open up the syllabus and I can look to see how am I graded in this class. And half is from Blackboard, half's from my IT lab. Cool. And that's that's it. So how how's my grade calculated? Oh, here we go. Inside Blackboard, your Blackboard score is determined by the following: 80% assignments, 20% participation. Okay. So the first thing you need to know about spreadsheets is they have columns and they have rows and the intersection of a column and a row is known as a cell okay and that cell has an address and the address of that cell is C5 because it's like bingo right it's like column C row 5 okay so that's how we do stuff so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna put in my IT I'm gonna put in blackboard and I'm going to put in my IT lab, and I'm going to put my grade. So I can just enter stuff. And now I'm going to enter numbers. So I'm going to format these, select those two, format them as percent right here. Or I could right click, the power of right click, and I could do format cells somewhere in there. No. I'm going to go format here, number, and I could choose like percent right there. So I could also choose it right there. And then my grade's actually going to be percent too. So I just click that and then click that. So if I had a 70% and a 90%, I would then create a formula. And I could type in equals, all formulas begin with the equals sign. I could type in equals. B1, let me do parentheses for order of operations, B1 plus B2, right, divided by 2. And you can see that there's some highlighting. That's the orange one, that's the purple one, and then I divide it by 2. So I'll get the value from here, add it to the value from there, and divide it by 2. So 160 divided by 2 is 80%. That's how I do a formula, and I press Enter. A quicker way to do that is to do the equal sign, click on the cell, and it puts the reference in. But first, I need the parens. So click on the cell plus that divided by 2. That's a quicker way. It's just click to get the cell reference. The reason that's nice is because I can now change this. Oh, you know I have a 90 in Blackboard. Okay, cool. All right. So that's going to be how I calculate my grade. And now I just need to figure out what's my total in each of these and put that number in here. So I'm going to delete those numbers for a bit. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new area. And I'm going to call this Blackboard. Okay. And under here I will have assignments. And I will also have assignments and participation. Okay. And so I have assignments and I have participation. And then I'm going to have a bunch of assignments here. However many, who knows, right? 
And those will all be like percent. Let me just make but that one and that one both percent. So I'll have a bunch of assignments here and I'll have a bunch of participations here. And those, and I could hit this little corner in the bottom to fill. And if there's a pattern, it'll recognize it. So if I had the pattern one, two, three, right, the next is going to be what? Fills in the pattern. So that's the auto fill handle. But I'm just doing these zeros. I'm just going to put some zeros out here and put some zeros out here. And now I just need to fill these in. So I could go to Blackboard and I could look at my assignments. Better yet, if you're a student, let me preview, enter student preview mode. Entering student preview. I'm in student preview mode on, and I'm going to go to my grade and show me something. Thank you. And so here are all my assignments. So I'm going to grab all these assignments. I'm grabbing them all. And I'm going to see if I could just bring them in to here and somehow get the names of the assignments. So that didn't work so well. But that's kind of close. What happens if I do an edit, paste special, paste values only? Okay, that looks all right. And so now is there some way that I could delete every other row? And uh, <clears throat> I could do this, equals that. Right, and uh, and then I'm gonna just do another equal sign every third because that's a pattern. <clears throat> Whoops, it has that. That's interesting. It has a little dash. And now let's see if that pattern will copy. No. Nope. So let me let me uh, do this. That pattern. Uh, uh, uh. Control C and Control V. So I'm just going for patterns here just to kind of get those parts out. And I'll, I'll provide you with all these categories. So I'm just separating the categories from all that other stuff and you'll see what happens here in a second. So that saved me from having to type all this stuff. And now I need to uh, just copy these. So I copied that whole row, Command C. And then edit, pay special, values only, because right now it's referencing a cell. Right? So you can see that cell reference right here. It's A4. Right? So it's just saying, get put here what's in A4. This is going to be equal to A4. But now I want it to be just the value, so copy it and edit, pay special, values. And now if I look, it's no longer what's <laughs> there is A4. It's just that became the value. And now I need to strip out that little dash if I wanted it to be nice. But I could get rid of this column, so delete that column. And then I could, oh, I don't want to sort because I guess it's all right. I'll, well, uh, how do I remove the spaces? I guess I'll sort it. Data, sort range, and that's okay. Right, it has all the dashes. This one needs a dash in front of it. We'll put a dash in front of it, and then I'll line it up a little bit more. Data, sort range, and so there we have all of the things that we do. And so I could take this, copy that, and I'm just going to leave the dashes in. Go back to this sheet, and I can paste them here. Right, and now I have places to enter my scores. Now I just need to calculate the average and all the above. So up here I have this formula button, functions. And I click that and I say I want the average. And what do I want the average of? Click and drag to give me a range. Okay, so all that stuff. And I press enter. And the formula on that is E3 colon E46. That means from cell E3 to E46, give me the average of that. And so now as I enter things here, Dang. Right? As I enter stuff, it's calculating my average for my assignments. Now I need also my participation, right? Well, that's actually this stuff here. So I'm just going to take that and Command X 
and bring it over here, Command V. And then I'm going to uh, move all this stuff up because these are the assignments. Command X and put it here, Command V. And I have to redo that formula there. So there's uh, the participation. And this would be your whether you're present in class or not present in class if you're in the in-person class. But now I can calculate the average on this one, average of that. And I can calculate the average on this one, get rid of those values. And it's uh, average of that. All right, it says I have different values in here for whatever my assignments. All right, it's calculating the average. And so now my grade on Blackboard, and I could highlight this, just kind of make it look like, hey, here's one section. So I'll make that like a light blue. All right, that's the Blackboard section. And I could connect that visually by making this that same light blue. So they're connected visually. But I could say my Blackboard grade is equal to, and it's uh, 80 80% assignments, 20% participation. Okay? So I say, okay, my Blackboard grade is equal to 0 0.8, 0 0.8 times assignments plus 0.2 times 20% of that. Right? That's my Blackboard grade. Capiche? Got it. Yeah. 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 So 80% of is, yeah. that, 20% of that. And then I do that, and now I've got my Blackboard grade. And so now I could come in here, and as I, oh, I got 100% on this. And I see how my final grade in the class is changing. I got 100% on that. I got 100% on that. Great. And now I could start being like, okay, I've done all this stuff. All right? And. This one looks stupid hard. I'm not doing that. And I'm going to do all these. All right? And cool, I've got 44.9% in the class. Now I need to do the My IT Lab part. And so it's going to be the same thing. And so with My IT Lab, everything is weighted equally. So I'll go into My IT Lab and sign in. And once I'm in there, I'm going to go into my class, and I don't know. I'm doing this for the 15. I'm using 15 as an example, but same in 12. And I could go into grades. Let me just pause this so I get to the play. All right, so I came in here, and now I can see all those grades. So I'm going to copy all those. I just left click and drag, and I'm dragging up. Left click, drag, and then Command C or Control C. And I go to a new sheet. Edit, paste, values only, All right? And then there, sweet, totally gave me what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to grab all these, Command C, and then come back to that one sheet and put them right here. Everything, it's all weighted equally. And, uh, and then those are all going to be a bunch of zeros. And uh, we'll make all this like a nice gold color. Oh, yeah, you can change your color. And we'll make this a gold color just to visually correspond. Yeah. And uh, then I calculate my average here of all that. And um, <laughs> I guess that should be yellow too. And then this is equal to the average. And I could put that here, average, 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 and maybe right align it. There we go. And maybe bold it. Make it just a touch bigger. And now, as I add scores in here,
All right, I can see what I have to do. So right there, if I'm going for a B, I stop because I have an 89.3%. I've got a B. If I'm going for an A, like I did a little too much work. Like literally, this is what I do, and then I just quit. I'm like, I'm not doing it anymore. I've got an A, 90.3%. I'm done with this class. I'm not coming to class anymore for these last oh, five easy. weeks, six weeks. Right? I'm, I'm not doing this one. Screw that assignment. That looks like that's going to take a week in itself. Screw taking the final exam. And these, these lab tests, to hell with those. I have a 90.3%. I have my A. Booyah. That's the power of information and being in control. And I do this with all my classes, and I can say, I don't need to put any more effort into that class. I already have my A. I can put my effort elsewhere into other classes. And when I have A's in all of my classes, I can put my effort, my time, my energy into something else, like going to the movies. <coughs> Why would I want to work any harder than I need to work? I don't get paid anymore to get a 99%. I get the same grade. Uh. Give me a 90.3%. That was my goal as a student. So that's how you calculate my grade. I'll give you a link to this so you have it done. And you can start putting in your own figures. But make sure you understand how spreadsheets work and you use it. Okay? So when you come, you could just highlight all this, copy it, Command-C, paste it into your spreadsheet. You're done with the assignment. But enter your grades and use it as a tool and know how to build that tool, look at how I built it, and then build it in the rest of your classes. You just highlight all the stuff, copy it, you know, open up your own spreadsheet and paste it in. So where is that at? I'm going to give it to you. I'll put, it, I'll put a link in the assignment to this video and to, and to the, the thing. Now this is the weighted average method. You might also have the points method, in which case you'd just be adding up points and dividing by the total point. So you got to figure out how class each class does it. You look at the syllabus. And then you can create it and go check in with each professor. Is this correct for calculating my grade? And when they say yes, send them an email. Send them the spreadsheet. And when they say yes, they are now legally held accountable <laughs> to that being the way that you calculate your grade. And if you calculate your grade and you have an A and they calculate it differently and give you a D, you show them that email, and they have to change your grade to an A by law because their ass is now in a sling, right? Because they've said, yes, that's the way you do it, and you relied upon that, so they have to assign whatever grade that spreadsheet was used to calculate to you. So do this for each of your class the first week of every semester. Send your professor an email. Hey, I'm just setting up a way to track my grade in the class. Is this the correct way to track my, my grade? Please let me know. I will be relying on this to monitor my progress in your course. Give them a link. Share. Get shareable link. Anyone with this link can view, copy, send them that link. They'll take a look at it. And then they'll say, yeah, that's the correct way to calculate your grade. You now have a guarantee that the calculation you make will be the grade you earn in that class. And you can monitor yourself through that class. You can self-regulate your efforts. It's a very powerful tool. And if they give you a grade different than what you calculate, you walk right to the dean's office and you say, I'm a little confused. I checked in with the professor. The professor said this was the right way to calculate my grade. I used this all semester to monitor my progress in the class. As you can see, based upon this, I earned an A. The professor then gave me a C. Can we all get together with the professor and talk about this? I'd like my grade changed to an A since the professor said this is the correct way to calculate the grade. You wow. will get an A. Guaranteed. What if you have one F for one um, week? Which week? I have six weeks with Fs right there. <laughs> I still earned an A. Oh. But you need to re read the syllabus because the professor might say if you miss more than three weeks, you, you flunk the class. So you have to read the syllabus. Oh. And you print out a copy of the syllabus, and you send this to the professor, and you check in. 
And then if anything comes up different than what you calculated, you file lawsuits. And that's just doing business. That's for reals? That's for reals. <laughs> Great, huh?